Well, folks, here again for the weekly forecast. And of course, I hope you had a great holiday weekend. We sure had the nice temperatures, a little bit windy, but who cares when it's in the 70s as you're approaching the end of November. Now, we paid for that a little bit this last week as we've seen a couple systems move across during the midweek period that cooled our temperatures down about 20 degrees, but hey, we were still close to normal. Now, as we go forward in time, it looks like we do have some fairly Arctic air moving into our region as we go through the middle of next week, and that should create a fairly substantial weather maker for at least the eastern one-third of the United States, and the potential is that it stayed to the south of us, sparing us some accumulating snowfall, but if this system looks a little bit to the north, conditions may be changed quite rapidly, so keep an eye on the weather. Things at this time of the year do change off of, off of a dime, and snowfall out of the forecast one day all of a sudden comes back in the forecast the next day. So here we go with the upper air models, and as we look at today, Here's that trough coming in the Pacific Northwest. In front of it, we have ridging over the Central Plains. That's going to pump up some warm air into our region. So we're going to see a little bit of a respite in terms of the 50s and possibly breaching into the 60s as we go through this weekend. Low pressure at the surface down in Texas, too far to the southwest to really bring up Gulf moisture into our region. So most of the activity remains in the Pacific Northwest. By Sunday, it starts to see this trough starting to pull into the Great Basin region. There's a series of so low pressure systems shown at the surface in terms of the forecast, but these are all working on very dry air. There is just nothing in order to feed any precipitation in our region. So all the activity will remain to our northwest over the northern Rockies. And then on Monday, this trough digs even closer to us. Start to see surface low forming in the Texas Panhandle. That's going to kind of slide eastward according to the models and that will bring the precipitation much farther to the east, but there is showing some precipitation along the front range of the Rockies passing the Panhandle. And then on Tuesday, the trough passes and we get some very cold air on the backside of the surface high pulls in. We'll be looking at temperatures falling throughout the day. Low pressure system remains over the southern United States, and that's really gonna feed some very exceptional moisture up into the Ohio River Valley and Great Lakes. On Wednesday, we still stay in a northerly flow straight coming out of Canada. Surface low is showing here over northwestern Missouri, but that looks like it's going to basically stay well to our east, pumping the moisture and all of the inclement weather well to the east of us as we stay under the influence of high pressure. On Thursday, another piece of energy looks like it's going to drop along the backside of this trough, potentially generating a little bit of light snowfall as a low surface low also at the surface begins to slide toward the south and east. We can see some of that precipitation breaking on the totas. This is two inches or greater totals, but I wouldn't be surprised to see some accumulating snowfall here in Nebraska. And then on Friday, a reinforcing shot of cold air. Another high pressure system moves down into our region that keeps the cold air in place. So we're going to be looking at several days that we'll be lucky to break the 35 degree range and possibility of some more accumulation of snow, particularly across northern Nebraska on Friday. Eight to 14 day forecast keeps the very cold conditions in place from central Nebraska eastward. And in terms of precipitation, with that northerly flow, not a lot of moisture associated with it, so dry conditions, basically west coast all the way to the east coast.